All right, so tonight is gonna be an easy dinner. Um, this beef and broccoli is a shit, 100%. Rice, nuts, mixed veggies, so we get more veggies than just broccoli. Um, yeah. Okay, so first we're gonna do the rice because the rice takes the longest to cook. Um, for me, my husband personally, I make one cup of rice. So if we want leftovers, we can. I season my rice like a fucking weirdo. So I normally put, you know, like chicken bouillon, some salt, uh, parsley, garlic powder. This is dried chives. And sometimes crushed red pepper. It depends if you like spicy or not. I personally do. So normally one cup of rice um, and then wash it because... Rice is nasty. Wash the rice. So I'm washing my rice. I normally wash until the water gets clear or sort of clear. Basically, to how lazy you are. Um, and then after this, since it's one cup of rice, I put two cups of water and then season it. Okay, so I have the rice, the rice cooker under white rice. Um, now I have my wok or whatever heating up. I'm going to put some olive oil. Um, I took the beef and broccoli out of the packet. You can follow these ingredients if you do get this one, which I recommend. Uh, I don't look at the instructions anymore. I've done it long enough. Um, you put the sauce that it comes with in hot water to thaw out. I have a cup of the vegetables. You can add as much as you want. Um, these are all the seasonings I have. I have crushed red pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper, Tony's, Mrs. Dash, salt free because delicious. And we have garlic salt, normal seasoning salt, and garlic powder. And then, yeah, I'm gonna put some oil, toast some nuts. Okay, so I put all the stuff in here I've had it covered so it steams and cooks itself I mix it every so often um, now shortly I'm gonna add all of these in it um, when it comes to seasoning it's kind of just up to what your heart desires and yeah after that season it let it cook for a little bit the sauce is already thawed out so whenever I feel like it's ready, put the sauce in and then cover it and let it be awesome. Okay, so I went ahead and had already seasoned it, let it cook a little bit more, added the sauce, added some more nuts because me and my husband really like nuts. Um, our rice is still cooking and in the meantime, every time I cook, I always make myself a drink. It's non-alcoholic because I don't drink. So basically, uh, ice chamoy um this sweetened sparkling water the strawberry and then the, i have this arizona thing that i just squirt a bit make myself a drink because why not okay so this is what it looks like after done a straw um it's simmering it's basically done um if you have sesame seeds i recommend for either crunch or just it looks good um, there's about 12 minutes left for the rice, so right now I'm just going to let this simmer off to the side, and then whenever the rice is done, I guess I'll show the final product. Okay, so this is the final product. Um, I like my meat on top of my rice, my husband does not. I just added some more sesame seeds and some parsley on top. Also, sorry it took so long, I had to put the baby to bed. Husband had to walk the dog, and yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for wasting your time.